What's up everyone? Welcome back to my 4 star school YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to uh, teach you how to build this NFT marketplace application using the Flutter. So first, I will give you a quick demo. The app you are going to build after you finish this tutorial. Uh, basically, uh, the first page is the personal profile page and uh, as you see we have a uh, two tab bar one is for creations another is for collections and this entire page can scroll and when you scroll down the tab will you stick on the top right and we have a, a separate uh, list and also we have uh, this uh, creation detail page so when I click that, you will see we have a very smooth transition uh, from this uh, profile page to the page to the detail page. And as you see here, uh, in our detail page, uh, this entire can be also scroll. And we're using the same technique. This tab bar will stick on the top. And we can switch to different tab bar. And when you scroll down, uh, this image will show up again. So that's basically for this entire application. I'm going to divide this entire application into two videos. So first part, we're going to build this profile page first. And then we're going to the detail page. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, sum up my content, and also open the notification so you won't miss out the latest Flutter tutorial. I do create some uh, dark programming language tutorial for the beginner and also the Flutter tutorial for the beginners. So if you are new to Flutter, feel free to reach out to my channel page and you will find those tutorials there. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. So first, let's open our terminal and navigate to our uh, workspace. In there, we use Flutter create command uh, to create this NFT application. Just wait a few seconds, you will be uh, finished. Then we uh, open our Visual Studio code and click this open folder. Then jump to the workspace, I think it's called projects, and we select these NFT apps and hit OK. So you will launch in our uh, Visual Studio Code. And then here uh, we basically just uh, click this mid.dart file. We're going to uh, wait for uh, seconds after this analyzing finished also open our uh, emulator and hit this run button we're going to launch this uh, simple uh, ticker application on our emulator and we can start from this point so let he run button At the same time, we can do some uh, project setup. So first, I'm going to create a SS folder, and we're going to load our image. SS so is inside my download folder. So I'm going to move this image in my SS folder. Also, open this pub space YAML file and scroll down. In line uh, 60, we're going to uncomment those out. Uh, and here, I'm going to add prefix here to be SS images and also remove the image. And we hit save. After a few seconds, uh, you will indicate we successful load the SS image. Okay, I think uh, it should. I'll be fine in this case so let's close it and we're going to structure the file a little bit so first we're going to create 
a constant file and also another is the screen folders also the uh, models folder inside this screen we're going to create a profile screen and also the detail screen right. and so each screen we have a widget folder we also have a profile dark file in this profile uh, it should be a stateless widget I'm going to call it profile page remove the constructor for now import library in this case so here uh, I'm going to set these to a uh, scaffold replace the container to scaffold widget and we have a body attribute going to play a center widget with our child so text says a profile page okay I think that's good going to save it in this case and you will notice we have some uh, recommended in this case so first we're going to uh, add the key to constructor so we're going to implement the constructor with constant keyword and also we're going to place a constant keyword uh, before this uh, scaffold widget I think because uh, I upgrade, upgrade my Flutter SDK version to 2.5.1 and we can uh, save again okay now let's back to our uh, main dart file we're going to uh, delete after line 32 going to delete off then and here replace this my home page to a profile page and I think we don't need this theme data for now and this should have a constant keyword uh, this we're going to remove constant keyword here so should be an t has okay so we can save it uh, you see we have our profile page this text show in the center of our scaffold okay I think we can start from this point first let's create our constant color file so under this constant folder we're going to create a file I could call it color star and I'm going to place some uh, random pink color in our button color in here okay so let's save and close this color star and here going to remove the status bar and this debug banner and we're going to find this attribute which is called show the uh, check mode banner set to force and also we're going to use a system chrome over set over set system UI overlay style and because we're going to set the color to transparent we're going to use a system overlay UI style in here we're going to change the status bar uh, which is color start transparent okay and I think we're going to have a constant keyword before it okay so let's say okay it's pretty good now and uh, we can start from this point so let's open our design file so first thing we are going to do is create this app bar so let's back to our profile.dart and I'm going to move these construct uh, constant for now and I'm going to create our app bar 
going to build a method build fr going to create a method inside this build a bar we're going to return a widget which is uh, a bar I think uh, it should be an app bar so inside this app bar uh, we have uh, a left icon and right icon right so inside first we're going to remove the elevation set to zero and then we're going to set this background color to transparent and then for it is leading we're going to have a uh, icon and another icon so we could say we could build a common method which is build icon we're going to pass our uh, icon data so we're going to create that method as well so for our uh, build icon we're going to uh, return in icon button so inside this icon button I'm going to receive icon data okay. and also I'm going to return icon button I'm going to implement this on press attribute so over here I just leave it empty for now for this icon, I'm going to use the icon and I will pass this icon here and also change this color uh, since it's a black color black and also going to change its size to 20 and uh, what's more, I think we're going to change it to splashed radius to uh, 25 because this icon is pretty small, right? So I'm going to reduce it to splashed radius. Okay, and then here I'm going to uh, pass our icons arrow back iOS outlined it. This is for our uh, first icon, and we have an action, and we're going to call this uh, build icon again. So I'm going to pass icons more words and outline. Okay, so I think that's it. Okay. Uh, can save you're able to see we have two icon button shown here since we don't implement any uh, on press uh, function here so it won't have any effect uh, so here we can place a constant keyword before those widget okay so we can remove those blue underline okay I think that's good so we are moving uh, to the next part uh, which is this profile so first let's create a profile model so back to uh, Visual Studio Code under this models folder I'm going to create a file I'm going to call it profile.dar and going to create a profile class toy profile uh, inside this profile class I'm going to declare some attribute so first is this image URL and also the name Twitter and the description email and those two uh, list of ours 
first is creations and another is collections so here I'm going to first clear uh, our image well okay and then is her uh, name third one is our Twitter and uh, fourth one is our uh, description the fifth is our email I'm going to uh, left those collections and creations in uh, in later so I'm going to implement this constructor which is profile inside here we're going to pass this dot image URL and this dot name this dot waiter this dot description this dot email okay so we can save and then we're going to uh, create a status method return a single profile so here we're going to call profile static profile generate a profile which will return a profile and going to pass the image name twitter description and email for now so let's save and we can use this profile uh, in this profile car so let's back to uh, our profile.dar and here we're going to replace the center widget uh, with the default tab controller since we are using stateless the widget uh, in this case I'm going to use a default tab controller uh, we have those two tab okay and inside this uh, default tab controller I'm going to place a nested scroll view so those entire page can scroll but those tab will stick on the top because I want to place those two tab bar inside uh, a sliver persistent header okay so I'm going to place uh, this center widget uh, SD4 controller default tab controller and here we're going to implement this uh, required attribute which is land I'm going to give it band of 2 and for it is trial I'm going to use a nest uh, nested uh, scroll view and I'm going to implement it is required which is this uh, header sliver builder I'm going to receive uh, those two uh, parameter the first one is build context uh, which is uh, the normal context and the other one I think is uh, boolean uh, which is inner box is scroll okay uh, if you this one will set to true when you scroll uh, inside this next scroll view so I'm going to return a list of widget and uh, we're going to implement this uh, body attribute which is also required and so for it is body I'm going to place our uh, tab bar view so inside this tab bar view we have a trial and for now uh, I'm going to just place very simple uh, text widget so first one is our cre creation or right, another one of the or collection okay uh, make it constant 
and inside this widget, uh, widget list, uh, I'm going to consider using a sliver to box adapter since this entire thing uh, can place inside this one. I want those entire uh, personal information scroll together so I use this lever uh, to box adapter box okay inside this lever to box adapter I'm going to implement this uh, child uh, which is a uh, personal information I'm going to build which is this personal info car and I'm going to pass a profile object. So going to scroll down in here. Uh, we declare the final profile, which is using the constructor profile profile generated. Okay. So remove the constructor. So we're going to pass this profile object here. Alright, so I then I'm going to create uh, our personal info file. So since we remove the constant keyword for this uh, detail page, so there was some error in our main.dar. So uh, we can remove the constant keyword here okay so let's save so under this widget folder uh, I'm going to create a file which is called person info.dar uh, I'm going to use a state list widget in here a person info and I'm going to import library Okay, so for this, just replace everything text. Call it a uh, person in four. Okay, make a necessary container. And I think we should put constant keyword. Okay, then we can import library in here. But we need to have, uh, I think, uh, a profile. Okay, be sure to clear it is. Uh, so inside is personal info. Going to profile. I'm going to import library as well. Okay. So let's save. We're going to save this profile.dart as well since we import the library is personal info and then we can start from this point so first uh, back to our design file in here I'm going to uh, use a column widget so it's pretty straightforward uh, let's remove this uh, text widget I'm going to use the container widget and Get some padding, use edge inset symmetry. Going to make it horizontal, set to uh, 25. Okay, it should have a constant keyword. And then for it is child, I'm going to use a column widget. Inside this column widget, we have a children attribute. So for our uh, image 
I'm going to use a widget which is called a circular avatar and I'm going to play a radius in here a 50 and also background color I change to uh, transparent and then the background image uh, which is came from our SS by uh, using SS image here I'm going to use a profile image URL okay so okay mm, save Then you will see our uh, image. Okay, we see our uh, profile image showed up on the screen, and we keep going. So give some space. I using size box uh, set to thirty. Uh, it should also be a constant. So okay, add constant modifier, and then. We have a text widget. I think it should also be a constant. So inside this text widget, we're going to replace our profile uh, name, right? And so uh, let's style. Going to use a uh, text style. Inside this text style, and going to place change the font width to bold. Font weight got bold and also a uh, font size to uh, 22. Okay, I think we don't need. We can use constant here and here. Okay, let's save. And then you are able to see our name show here. So, next part is our uh, Twitter. So, we're going to uh, copy that. So we change the height to uh, I think uh, five is enough, and this can be a change to twenty. And we have uh, text. We have profile to Twitter. Okay. We also style it using a uh, text style, and here we can. Change it is a uh, from way to bold, and also change the color. I uh, use the blue color and also a uh, font size change to 18. Okay, let's say okay, seems pretty good. Huh? And we move forward. So, next is our description copy this. Spacer, you can change to uh, 20 and then we have a text uh, come from profile uh, description and also uh, we can style it uh, text style Inside the text style, we're going to put a font size to uh, 16 and also height to 1.5 and then the color little b dark and to use black 4054 Okay, let's save It's pretty good, huh? So, but also I think we need to make it a text line center. So let's change. It is text align. Use a text align center. Okay, save again. Okay, now it's pretty similar. Okay, move forward. 
uh, place the size box after the description still 20 is good and then we use another text uh, profile email okay and change the style I make a constant uh, text style so inside text style we're going to change font weight so for phone weight change to bold and then phone size change to 16 okay let's save yeah it's pretty good huh also place some space between this email and the tab bar here so I think 30 is enough save okay it's pretty good so I think we finish this uh, personal information part and next we can start working on this nested uh, scroll view with uh, tab bar and tab view let's back to profile.dar and we can close this person info.dar we're going to place our uh, sliver persistent header under the sliver to box adapter so I'm going to place our sliver uh, persistent header uh, the require is this delegate so uh, I'm going to create another class uh, which implement this uh, sliver uh, delegate okay so I'm going to uh, call it a uh, tab sliver uh, delegate tab sliver delegate dar okay inside this tab sliver delegate uh, I'm going to create class uh, I call it tab sliver delegate uh, which is extends the sliver persistent header uh, delegate okay we're going to implement it is uh, I think four missing method so for it is max extend so so here I going to pass our uh, tab bar so for it is max extend would be tab bar dot high so in this case I going to create a, a attribute which is our tab bar Okay, and another one is a uh, space. So the reason I create this space, uh, cause in here we don't have extra space, right? They occupy the half, and this one occupy half. But in here we have extra space, so we're going to check if the extra space set to true I'm going to give some space so here that's why I declare those two attributes so I'm going to implement this uh, tab sliver delegate so we're using this tab bar uh, which is uh, required and another one is this dot space uh, default set to force okay and then we're going to implement uh, it is get uh, max extend those two should be very uh, similar so i'm going to return a uh, tab bar dot uh, preferred size dot high okay and i can just copy this bar and place here 
which means uh, you only occupy the height of the tape bar. Okay. So for this should reboot rebuild. Uh, I just simple, I just return fourth. Okay. So the last one is this uh, build method. So for it is this build method, I'm going to uh, return a container. Okay, because we have uh, a container with this uh, very, very, very light uh, button border. See here? So I'm going to uh, return container. Okay, inside this container, I'm uh, going to uh, create this uh, decoration. So for the decoration, we change color, it should be white, and then we have a border. I'm using a border, okay. Inside this border, we're going to implement this bottom border. So using border side, change the color, using colors to gray uh, 200, and also change Web to just one. I guess the default value will be one, so I could remove this part. Okay, that's for the decoration in this container, and then we're going to uh, implement it is a uh, child. But remember, we define this space uh, boolean, so we can give the padding if it's set to true. So we're going to uh, use this edge inset only, right? And we're going to check. So for left padding always 15, but for the right, I'm uh, going to check the space. If it is true, we're going to give more space. Otherwise, just give it uh, 15. Okay, that's for our padding, and also we have a trial. So the trial is just the tab bar from here. We pass the tab bar. Okay, I think that's all for this tab uh, sliver uh, delegate. So let's save and we will go back to this profile. Dot so in here, uh, we could use our tab bar sliver delegate. We just declare. Right, and then we're going to pass our tab bar. Inside the tab bar, we have uh, some a uh, require attribute. But before we implement that, uh, require attribute is this uh, tab list. Uh, before we implement that, we're going to style it. So we want to uh, this label color to be black, and also unselect label color uh, with this gray okay so also change the indicate color to black so change the label color to black and also unselect color gray uh, 400 and the indicate color also black right Oh. So sorry, should be indicate color, okay. And the required attribute is, is these tabs. So here I'm going to declare the list of our tab. So we're going to declare here as the final tabs, which contains our creations and the collections okay so we're going to use these tabs here we're going to use a map function using tab map and also to turn to list again because you're using the map you will return an iterator here iteratable 
So for here, I'm going to return a tab. Inside a tab, we're going to uh, implement this trial. So which is a text we're going to use here, text widget with, with, with our uh, element inside these tabs. So first one is creation, another one is collection. So we place inside these text and also we're going to style it. So the default text, our size will be 16. So we want to make it a little bit bigger. So we can text style, change the form size to uh, 18. Okay, that's all. So we can save. Now you're able to see we implement this uh, tip bar. Okay, before we implement this uh, creations list, we're going to test our scroll function. So, because I think we going to implement one more attribute, so which is called pin. So first, I'm going to set to force, and you will see the result. So when I set this pen to force, then I scroll up. You see those tab bar. We're going to uh, outside of the screen, right? So I, I'm going to uh, stick it. So I change to true. And this time, when I scroll down, uh, those tab bar will stay on the top. Okay, so that's uh, the effect one. Okay, something like that. Okay, so don't forget to set these pin it set to true. Okay, next we're going to implement those arts. First, we're going to create the art model. So let's back to Visual Studio Code. Under the models folder, we're going to create a file that's called art.dar and create a class called art. So let's check. We will have uh, this image, background image, and also this uh, price name, price, and the description. Okay, so and also the list of feeders, right? But we'll implement this one in our next video. So, so here, let's create image URL. Okay, and also name, the price, and the description. Okay, so let's implement it is a constructor, which is our this dot image and this dot name, this dot price and this dot description. Okay, we can save it. And then we back to our profile.dar under the models folder. And here we're going to add one more uh, list. Uh, should be two more lists. So one is for creations, another is for these collections. So let's create under this uh, email going to create a list of R and it should be a creation right and also a list of R it should be a list of collections okay and then we're going to import library as well and here they start creation. And this dot collections, okay. And we're going to place uh, those creations list and collection list after this email. So we're going to paste a list of R's in this creations, and also list of R's inside these collections. So we can save for now. 
and close this profile.tar and also close uh, this art.tar and open our uh, design file so I think first we're going to uh, build this one so here I'm going to call it a custom grade view widget so I'm going to create another file uh, inside this widget folder call it custom grade.tar so inside this custom grade.tar uh, I'm going to create a stay less the widget custom great right so I'm going to import library so first let's check I'm going to give uh, the container a padding then we have a grid view inside the container so first we change the padding to uh, edge incest or 15 we're using a constant keyword and for it trial I'm going to use a grid view builder so we need to implement those required attribute view for this custom grid view we're we going to receive a list of creations and also a list of collections and it's a common which can be used for those a uh, bold those tab view so I'm going to create a final list of R just create list and also another one is a string uh, which is our scroll key uh, we're going to uh, remember our scroll uh, position so I'm going to uh, pass this scroll key and I'm going to use a page storage key to store our scroll position okay so I'm going to implement that in a uh, list scroll key and this dot list so to import library for this art okay and for this item this great view builder I'm going to implement another attribute which is item count I'm going to use test.learn and also we have a key we use this page storage key and pass this scroll key here so we could keep our uh, scroll position and for this uh, great delegate and here I'm going to use a sliver uh, great delegate uh, with fixed cross access count and inside this one uh, we're going to set our cross count to two since we have a uh, two uh, each row and also we're going to set some uh, space this is what this one for main axis spacing and also we have a cross axis spacing set to 10 as well and then we have our uh, trial as aspect ratio all right set. okay I think the weight uh, wet should be 4 and high going to be 5 so we use this 4 divide 5 and we can place a constant keyword okay that's all for this great dedicate and so the last one would be our item builder so for this item builder we're going to receive the context and also the index right so we are going to return a container so inside this container uh, I'm going to set the high for the container uh, which is I, I think 400 is enough and then we have a decoration a box decoration because I want to give it a rounded circle so we use border radius and here I'm going to use uh, set to 10 is enough okay so 
for it is child and I'm going to use this clip red okay and I think I'm going to change it is border radius as well so it should be the same as the container and also for it is child I'm going to use image assets we're going to pass this of index dot image URL right and change the feed to a uh, box feed cover to be cover okay that's all for this custom grid view so we can save now okay seems good we don't have any error in this case right so we can go back to our uh, profile.dar so in our profile.dar we're going to place uh, the custom gray in our uh, in our tab view so inside this tab view we're going to to say going to replace those two uh, with our custom grid view so we're going to pass the scroll key so for example the creation list and so the list will come from profile dot I think it's the creations creation creations okay okay I notice we have a uh, arrow here so I think the reason is this constant keyword so you can remove it and then we just copy another one and make it collection uh, it should come from collection as well so we can save okay you see we have our great list coming up okay and we can scroll down uh, this tab will stack to the top you see and here you see in these creations we scroll to the bottom but we use uh, the page key so when I select to the other one these collections actually uh, it's from the top you see they have a different they have a different position right, the first, this one is scroll to the bottom and this one is stick on the top okay i think that's all for today's video we finish our first part which is this profile page and with this uh, next scroll view along with the tab bar and tab view right it's very good uh, a complex ui case for you to study if you are a beginner to flutter so please subscribe to my channel some out my content because I do I put lots of effort and time making those tutorial also open the notification so you won't miss out the second part of this uh, tutorial okay thanks for watching I will see you in next video